It's Ashley. It's Melissa. Justin. And then we have SmackDown Live recap. Just like Monday Night Raw, we're here. We're going to talk about the matches and how they went and what we feel about them. And all that. So, let's see. The beginning of SmackDown, we have Dana Bryan and Brie was called out by Renee Young. Start off SmackDown and. Of course, let's talk about the match that's going to happen in Hell in a Cell, and how well, he wants to re how he wants to reclaim his honor from losing at WrestleMania. Because then we have that match. Then we have this match before at WrestleMania. It was Daniel Bryan and The Miz. Yep. They really need to like just have one huge match and just get it all out. Yep. Show it all. Like, it's funny how, um, had The Miz and Maurice first Cena and Nikki, now it's them versus Bray and Daniel. And no, like, DQs or anything. Like, anything goes. That would be a good match to see. Yep. One last match between those two. And then he gets the yes kicks. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And more dirty fighting from The Miz. Of course. You'll probably get yeah. another brass knuckles or... Yep. Maurice hiding some more brass knuckles somewhere. Where's she gonna pop it out next? She popped it out of her bra last time. Where is it going to be in the match? <laughs> Who knows? And then... Of course. And then... Um, showed a little video earlier. Miz and Marie trying to call out Daniel and Bree. And then... Of course, didn't come out. But then when they want to try to call them out. But... Bree and Daniel called them cowards. And all that. Then they said they were out there earlier, but they're gonna go eat dinner and whatnot. Yeah, go eat dinner and enjoy themselves. Yeah, right. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you have Cian, Almez, and Vega come out and talk crap like they always do. You know, honestly, when I hear the, the, the name Vega, I automatically th think of the Street Fighter character. <laughs> yeah, and then... Honestly, they, they're both Spanish. And you know what? I want to see her come out with the Vega mask and some claws. There you go. Live up to the name. You already have the name Vega, so why don't you just go for go with the costume? Yep. And then we got. Then we had the match with Dana Bryan for Cian Almas. That match was pretty good, but of course, the yes, Dana Bryan won. Gave him the yes kicks. Yes kicks and all that and pre Bella make sure they get involved and all that and everything <laughs> and whatnot. It's yeah. good to see Daniel Bryan in a fight. I never actually got to see him. He's yeah. actually pretty good. He's actually good. He, from NXT to now, he was a good wrist. Good. He's yeah. good now. I He's like way better than the Miz. Yeah. I mean, Miz was good in the beginning, but then he's showing that he's I don't know. Well, you know me, Ashley. I never saw The Miz ever. Yeah. I stopped. I put wrestling on pause after Eddie Guerrero passed away. And then so many years later, after I started dating you recently, like four years ago, that's when the, you started telling me that. The night The Shield broke up, I started watching wrestling with you. And I've been watching ever since. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yep. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. yeah, and I never seen Daniel Bryan actually fight. It's pretty good. It's good to go back and watch some of his matches. That's what the WWE Network's for. It's always good to watch some old ones. Bring up old legends. Yeah. And looking forward to see Mick Foley next Monday. Yeah, oh, Mick Foley next Monday. Oh, oh that was that was yesterday. Mr. Sacco. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder who will give Mr. Sacco to. Mm -hmm. Triple H will show, probably show up. Undertaker showed up Monday, so Triple H sh uh, will show up. Yep. And now, let's see. We had Naomi versus Peyton Royce. Yep. Of course. She kept yelling her name. Naomi. Yeah, Naomi. 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 <laughs> but, of course, Naomi? Naomi made Peyton Royce feel the glow, and, of course, they were babies and had a tacker. Because yep. they lost. But guess what? Guess who showed up? Asuka. Yeah, out of the blue. She 
coming. She hasn't been out in a while. She hasn't been out, and she's got new hair, like so green well, that's and that's why pink. she was getting a new look. And she showed Peyton Royce and Billy Kay that they were not ready for Oscar. Yep. On to the next match. Yeah. And then we have Roos of Day versus the Usos versus the Sanity to see who will go against the bar. In a triple threat match. And it was... And the winner was... Rusev Day! Day. Oh, I, to be honest with you, I like Rusev Day. I mean, yeah. I it was, it, it, every day should be Rusev Day. Yeah. <laughs> Rusev Day. Ever since they put, um... What's his name in it? In it? We, just wa we just watched it like a few minutes ago and I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? All I know is Rusev. Ain't in English. Ah, oh, there we go. Ain't in English. Yeah. So, yeah, now we got the um, main event was The Miz versus R Truth. Oh, wait, no, we're skipping something. Yes, oh, wait, we're skipping oh. the Samoa Joe segment. Oh, yes. See, I always forget that fatty, flumpy flump. Well, how can you? He's right over here. Oh, please, no. <laughs> but, okay, Missy, yeah. Missy, if you did cut your hair a little bit. You know, uh, all of that, and you wore your Donkey Kong shorts, you would look like Samoa Joe. <laughs> but anyway, Samoa Joe, as I forgot, he was coming out, of course, saying Wendy, trash talking, saying Asia daddy's style. Saying daddy's coming home, or daddy's staying home. Saying he's gonna say, stay home, he's gonna take that title from Styles, and all that. This match, when Samoa Joe did that segment, it reminded me of the old Eddie Guerrero Rey Mysterio match with them fighting over Dominique. That's when I. That's what I remember. I'm just thinking. I'm just waiting for them to pull that out, saying that AJ Styles' daughter is actually Samoa Joe's. Mm. AJ Styles really gave uh, Samoa Joe a good ass beating. Yep. Yes, and Scott. everything, hey, and then it was funny seeing how Paige tried to run down the ramp. Yeah, run down the ramp in those heels. It would have been <laughs> funny if she did what, uh, what's we call it, did it, and he slid under the... Yep, <laughs> the title <laughs> on the L, zoop, zoop, right under the mat. Well, oh, Samoa Joe had a scar, uh, like, in earlier on, like, right above his... Oh, yeah, like, when he came in, he had, her, like, right here, a scar. Must be from Styles from when he had a little brawl last time. Yep. But, yeah. But anyway, if uh, Styles, I mean, yeah, Styles is set to lose soon somehow. Yeah, what, getting flattened by I don't know if flatty? it's going to be against Mojo or someone, but he lose sometime. He has to lose sometime. Well, yeah. let's see. Styles wins, then there's always the, the chance for another superstar to beat him. If Samoa Joe's wins, then it's going to be a while because all Joe has to do is just choke him out. Yeah, Samoa Joe's pretty good. Just like if, just like you know, Bron, like Braun got, Strom, just like Braun Strom being the champion, who could fight him? He's got a lot of flubber, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure that'll <laughs> work its way out. Boom, <laughs> Maybe like a Japanese wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> and those tidy whiteies. Oh boy. <laughs> we need Rikishi to come back. Looks like am I doing Rikishi for Small Joe? <laughs> oh boy. Top him. Oh wait, what about the big the Big Show um, sumo wrestling match like at WrestleMania? Oh, uh, Big Show's butt. Yeah, I put that. Ugh. I put that memory back in your head. You've been trying long and hard to forget that, weren't you? <sighs> That's <a> nasty <laughs> thing about that. Ugh. Okay, next match that I actually said before, The Miz versus Our Truth. Because Our Truth was trying. <laughs> funny how Our Truth kept saying Carmella was Maurice. Yeah, that's funny. Like really. It would be really messed up. If she does the moonwalk backwards one day, that, that heel's going to break and she's going to fall on her ass. <laughs> she's going to go kaboom. But for a surprising win, our, our truth. truth won. Because Dana Bryan's music hit and Dan Bryan and Bree Bella came out. Distracted and the Miz. Distracted them and our truth pinned them. And Good for our truth. That and Bree Bella away. started chasing... Her around the ring. Yep, and of course, Daniel and Bree ch uh, chased the Miz and Maurice, attacked them. But Almez and Vega, they came out, tried to freaking attack them, but they didn't work too well. No. Nope. While they were getting attacked, Miz and Maurice just go out top of the ramp and watch after that. Watch that going to be the ne the next um, match next week. 
And then I did a double dose. Yep, double, yes, locked. Show oh, Ms. and Maurice yeah. that's going to happen in Hell in a Cell. So, yeah. Well, their match should be in a Hell in a Cell match. That would be fun. Yeah, that actually would be. Yeah, let's see Ms. and Maurice trying to escape that. There's no way in it. No, I don't Who wouldn't want to see Daniel Bryan throw Miz off the, the top of the Hell in a Cell into the table? Uh, Mick Foley I'm... that moment. Yeah, and then at the end, get Mr. Sakato. Honestly. Oh, yeah. Honestly, comments. Who, want, who would want to see that moment? Yeah. So, alright. That's so far... What, what our uh, feelings were and what we thought of the matches. And... So, if you want some more SmackDown Live recap, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.